Hello everybody and welcome to the first Unity 3D Android tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to set up the in Unity 3D environment to be compatible with the Android SDK. So, f using blurb, shush! Okay. First you want to go to Google and type in Android SDK and you want to go into the link and download it which I already have in here somewhere here. So then you want to install that and then go to your install directory which should usually be in if you're using 64-bit in here so you want to open up the SDK manager and then do your recycle bin and then you want to download the ones that you see here which is the Android SDK tools SDK platform tools all the ones under the 4.0.3 APA i15 and the Android support, Google USB, and Google Web Driver. After you've done that, you just go, so you select them all, and you go like that, like that, and like that, and then you click install, which I don't want to do right now. Okay, next you want to install Unity 3D, and I'll show you how to do that now. It's pretty self explanatory. Damn 9 MSN. Okay, you want to go to unity3d.com, if you can spell it right. Ah, screw it, I'll just go unity3d.com. And you want to click on download. Now, if you want to take full advantage of this, then I'd recommend you buy the Android thing. I purchased this and I have one one license that I'm going to give out to one lucky subscriber or one per the first person who asks me or offers me something for it. Hehe. <laughs> so yeah, you want to just download that for now unless cuz yeah, if, if you already have an Android license, then you can do this. But if you don't, I'd recommend buying one or asking me for my second one. So you want to hit download or add to cart if you've purchased and if you've searched an Android and you want to download that and then install it so you got it right here right there okay so wait for unity start up I got unity 3d started up and I'll you go to well first you want to here's my phone you want to open up the Android market the Play Store. Then you want to search for if my phone would stop lagging so much. Oh, I've got it already got it here. Unity. So then you want to download this Unity Remote and then open it. Okay. Oops, wrong one. Wrong button. Yeah, so you want to just, yeah. So I'll just make that normal size. Okay, so what we want to do is so we want to go File and New Project. Okay, so this is your basic project window. There's a few Android only pack packs. So you want to go Browse. I'll make a new one called just Android. Android underscore FPS. I'll right, get Android Basics. Like that. So, you want to create a new folder, paste that name in there, and you want to select the folder. Okay, so, what we want to do is we want to pick the scripts, the character controller, even though we're not going to be using it for PC, but we're going to test through the Android device. You want to go standard assets mobile and water that and terrain assets. That's basically all you need. So you can hit create. And then you just wait for it to build. Do 
do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do As you see, it creates. Ooh, I'll just minimize that for now. As you see, where you saved it, it creates a directory. And this is where all your files are. This is your library. You don't need to touch this unless you know the inside and out of scripting. In Unity, this is all your audio managers and stuff. And this is just where everything temporary is stored. This is where all your assets are stored. So you have all your setups and stuff. So you want to open this up. Don't want to worry about that. Okay, so you got your whole hierarchy and project. So what you want to do is, since it is up top you see it says PC and Mac standalone. So you want to click on File and Build Settings. Now you see here, you want to click Android and click Development Build. Then click Switch Platform. It'll go through and convert everything to be an Android format. Let it all compile. Oh, like that. That's how you do it. I knew that. Okay. So, just squeeze that down a bit. Okay. So, you see at the top now it says Android. So, see if you hit it. Play. And I need to. Here you go. You can see it now. See that's our that's our scene view right there in the Unity project. So you hit pause, and it'll change back. So you want to, or first off, go to game object, and this is where all the primitives and stuff is. So you can go your lights, your objects, cubes. So I'm gonna hit cube, and you see here that you have a cube. So you wanna hold down the right mouse to look around that looks around you want to use W while you're holding down the right, right mouse you want to hit W's forward S A D like in a game if you hold down shift and hit the buttons then you'll go faster and say if I want if I lose the object I can just click on in here and then press F in here click on there press F and you'll zoom in on it so you want to go into your inspector which has all the properties of it and I like having the grid for 2D. So then you go, I prefer 50 by 50. Set this to zero. And it'll come up with this warning down the bottom. Shader is for white color, does nothing. So it wants you to change, since you're using a mobile platform, to change to mobile, to fuse. And then I'll get rid of the error. So I just want to save your project, make a new folder called Maps, if it works. Maps, and you want to save it as just go basic layout. Oop, not yay layout, layout. Okay, so now you want to set this to be say 100 by oop, no 100 by 0.5 by 100, and that'll give you a basic terrain that you can start on. Well, for now, because I'll go into terrain in further tutorials. But yeah, that's what you want. So, so we see if we start our level, we see we just have a little terrain here. But you see, we can't move around in it. If you hit any of the buttons, we can't move around in it. So you're going to want to add a player. So, I think I'll code my own player, actually. So, with your package, you should have come with mono develop. Or maybe not. I'll just open it up then. It should be in your Unity 3D folder. It's probably because I haven't linked anything yet. You drag mono develop. And that's mono develop there. Ah, fine, I see how it is. Mono develop. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So you want to hit open up mono develop. Straight that over there, don't need that anymore. And you want to start off just with the basic. 